function tables. How about fun tables? With these function tables, what you're going to be doing is applying what you learned before into a table. So this becomes a little bit more compounded. So our objective here is to fill in the table, the missing data. And we have this uh, to guide us. The output is 4 less than the input. Now, in order to solve this, we're going to need to come up with an equation so we can apply it to find out what our outputs are. So looking at the statement, it says the output, so I'm going to use output, the variable y for output, is 4 less than the input. x will be my input, and 4 less than that will be minus 4. So what I need to do is subtract 4 from each of these values right here in order to complete my table. And here's my solutions for the table. Looking at a different example, we're actually given the equation that we need to use for our table to uh, fill it in. So an equation is y equals x minus 4, a lot like our last or previous example. So we need to um, subtract each of our inputs or domains or x values by 4 in order to find out what our range or output is. Once I've subtracted 4 from each, these are the values uh, to fill in the table. Alright, our third and final example here is a little more challenging because now we need to write an equation for the function shown by the table. So we actually have to look at the table and evaluate um, the table itself or the contents of the table. So we can do this in a variety of ways. We could start at the beginning here over on the left hand side and say, well, okay, well how do we get three to uh, input of three to an output of negative three? Well, I could d multiply by negative one, but by looking at the next uh, term in our sequence here, that doesn't work. So for this type of example and any kind of example, if the first few aren't working for you, look at the other end of the table because those are going to follow the same function as well. So looking at these two down here makes it a little bit simpler. The way I get from 9 to 3, I could either divide by 3 or subtract by 6. The way I get from 7 to 1, I can pretty much only subtract by 6. So that's going to be my solution. Of course, once I have it written, I want to test it with those other inputs and outputs that I haven't checked yet. So 3 minus 6 will give me negative 3, and 5 minus 6 will give me negative 1. So uh, that will work. Now even though these three examples all dealt with subtraction as the function, you could do this with addition, multiplication, and division. So it's not limited to just subtraction.